Hello, my name is Andrew Heimlich, and I am an elementary music teacher in Carmel, Indiana, and I am part of the Fire Auburn Association for Music Education, also known as FAME. It was started and developed by Dr. John Fire Auburn regarding his two approaches of teaching elementary students and older good music education. And his two main approaches and names are First Steps of Music, which the manual looks like this. And then also another approach for literacy, which is called conversational soulfish. And its teacher's manual looks like this. I am a fame endorsed teacher trainer in both first steps in music and conversational soulfish. And I'm going to be making a series of videos talking about, in general, regarding first steps in music. First steps in music is a program that starts with infants and toddlers, and that manual looks like this. But most of you who are watching these videos are working with elementary school students, starting probably with kindergarten. And so this particular manual, First Steps in Music, and the next part is called Preschool and Beyond, is made for starting with children ages three, and then it goes all the way up to fifth grade, sixth grade. The main component about First Steps in Music is that we want children to be three things. We want them to be tuneful, we want them to be beatful, and we want them to be artful. Tuneful meaning that we want them to be expressive with their singing voice, able to sing lullabies to their children and sing happy birthday and join in community singings when they're older. And so that starts at the young age. It's the most natural instrument the child has. And also be able to hear tunes and think music. We also want them to be beatful, and not just be able to keep a steady beat, but also be able to feel the beat in groups of two and three, since all music is normally in some kind of grouping. And so the activities that we do help the children understand that their bodies move to music so that when they're older, they will be comfortable movers. If they dance at prom or dance at their wedding, or able to clap the steady beat at a sports event. And the last part is being artful. We want the students to have expressive ex experiences with music and have those artistic experiences that are below the surface of mu what music offers, of it, like any art. So as I said, these videos that you'll be watching will be going through the eight parts of the First Steps of Music program and hopefully we'll get you started with understanding how to use this approach. You can also learn more on the Fire Robin website page, which is fireaubinmusic.org. And there also is a Facebook uh, page you can follow called Fire Robin Fundamentals. We hope that these uh, videos will be helpful for you, and good luck with your teaching.